Hi guys, welcome to SmileStyle.com and if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome to YouTube.com slash DX5K. You know what I haven't said in my last videos? That I, of course, am the legendary Smiles. But anyway, in my last video I was talking about why I'm against the Affordable Care Act or the Affordable Health Care Act or whatever it's called, Obamacare. And I don't want to get the misconception that I'm against affordable care in general. I think it would be a good idea if there is some sort of way where people can't necessarily afford the health treatment that they need to be able to afford it some way, shape, or form. I get that. I just, it, it, and my problem with it is not even like how they tricked us into having it, saying it's a tax all of a sudden. I think that was what Justice John Roberts, I believe his name is, say, well, technically it's a tax. And they never used the word tax prior to the passing of the legislation or the the way the website was designed where you had to put all this ridiculous information in or how they lied about the, the price is not going to change. And, you know, it's, it's not even none of that craziness. I haven't even gotten that far into it to be bothered by those aspects of how the law was passed the part that bothers me is mandating everyone to have it or mandating those people with jobs to have it because they gotta know they got homeless they have to know they have to know that there's homeless people that's never gonna sign up for the shit they don't have internet access they have to know that they got guys just on the corner who doesn't even who don't even watch the news or read the newspaper or listen to um news on a radio or talk radio they gotta know they got people out there who don't know what's going on and they're never gonna sign up because they don't even know they're supposed to they have to know that they have to right so saying that everybody has to buy into it it bothers me you can't mandate it i don't see how that works i don't see how mandating that i buy something that i don't need is a good thing for anybody even if it works good for somebody else it's not a genuine good it's a force for good that's like saying Oh, you know, my, <laughs> a perfect example. Like, they might, they may have, I remember when I was small, there were cousins that I didn't really like. And around Christmas time, what my mom would do, she'll buy a present for those cousins, but she'll put everybody's names on the tag. Like, it came from me and my, it came from me, my brother, and whatever. And my name would be on it, even though I did not contribute to it at all. My mom completely bought it by herself and then decided to do the nice thing and write everybody's name on the card like it came from all of us. And they'll and they they get this genuine happiness like oh my you know Chris smiles and his mom bought us and it's like no I actually didn't you know they come thank you thank you for the gift but it's like you're thanking me for something I didn't do and I didn't want to do it's not, it wasn't genuine at all they my mom wrote that without my my permission basically she forced me to be nice and you and I didn't want to because I don't like you. That's kind of like how I feel. Like, they're making me do something nice for people that I don't give a shit about. And I know that sounds mean, but still, it's the, it's the idea of you feel like you need to pass this and mandate it because it's the right thing to do. He didn't ask for argument. It's the right thing to do. But where is it in any American law that you have to do what's right? They say you have to pursue your happiness, not pursue what is right or more than right. And who's to say what's right and wrong? You can't force me to do something right. And if you force me to do something right, that's not right. That's wrong. You can't force me to be charitable. You say you should give to these people because you have more and they deserve it because they have the right to live and you have it. So you should be able to help them. But if I don't do it from the heart, it, it, it's, it doesn't matter. If I want to do something charitable for somebody, it should come from my heart. I should want to do it. Damn. These people need some sort of help. Here's my money. You can take it and do what you need with it. Here is my help. Not, hey, smiles, put a gun on my head. You better, you have a lot of money. Give them people your money because they deserve your help. Because you have a lot, they don't have enough. Now go help them. Forcing me to help, forcing me to help anybody is not right by any means. You know, and, 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 <laughs> and the people that's for the health care, that's how they feel. They feel like if something is right, everybody should be forced to do it. You should donate to this church because it's the right thing to do. You should donate to that school. You should, why don't you donate money to that school? If, if everybody donates to that school, but that, and if I don't, then what? And if you don't donate, we're going to egg your house. So we, basically, you're going to get penalized if you don't do what we think is right. That's not right, and that's not freedom. And I don't understand why that's a hard concept to grasp. Why is it so hard to say, all right, I think this is right. So I'm going to do it. 
but I'm only going to do it if everybody else does it too because it's right. So I think giving my money to this is the right thing to do. And since I think it's the right thing to do, I'm going to make him do it. I'm going to make her do it. I'm going to make them do it. All of us has to do it. All of us has to put in this because it's right. And if somebody doesn't do it, you're not doing it. You're not doing the right thing. Well, screw you. You should go to jail. You should be fine. You should be penalized because you don't want to do the right thing. This is the right thing to do. And I'm going to call somebody to make you do it. Hey, federal government, he doesn't want to do the right thing. I want to do the right thing, but I can't do the right thing if he's not going to do the right thing. So federal government, you come in, you step in, and you make him do the right thing. You make him put his money up for this because it's the right thing to do. You have to force him to be right. No, honestly, like what kind of arguments do you have against that? You can't force no you can't you can't force morality. You can't force people to have ethics. You can't do that. That is not freedom. That is the opposite of freedom. Just be like <laughs> I guess they have this unicorn type imagination of what the world should be. Everybody's all kumbaya and happy together and we want to live in a free society, but the idea of free is everybody eating healthy and driving safely and you know, not hurting the animals and all, but that's not freedom. That's not. A utopia can't be made by forcing people to act a certain way because they're going to be forced to act a certain way. There's always going to be those who think differently from you, and the freedom to think differently is what's supposed to make this country beautiful. But now we're at this point where when certain people think this is something is morally correct, it has to be the law. If this is the right, if we feel like this makes you fat and obese. We're going to ban it. You're not even allowed to touch it. If we feel like utilizing these products is greener for the environment, screw everything else. We're going to force you to use those products whether you like it or not. Whether you can use them or whether they, they, they help you out. With your, it doesn't matter. These are green products. Those are the products you have to use because they're the right products. That's not right. In my last video, I was talking about how at my job, I'm that guy that doesn't like to put their money with everybody else's money to buy one type of food. Like they, if they all want to order pizza, everybody puts up $5 for the pizza or whatever. And I'm the dude that's like, no, I know it sounds sucky. I am antisocial, but I have a right to be. When I want to get something, I get it myself and I don't tell nobody. And they always get mad. They say, why didn't you tell us you was going this place? Because... Uh, we can if if I, if you'd have told me you was going here, I'd have gave you money to get something. But fuck you, no, I'm not doing it. I don't do that type of shit. When I want something, I go get it myself, and I don't. I'm not that guy that be like, hey, what does everybody want? Give me your money. And I'm also not that type of guy that when everybody else wants something, I don't put my money up for them. Now, what if my boss says, you know what? Everybody wants pizza. Okay, there's this new restaurant we all want to try, it, and we're all gonna start buying our pizza from this restaurant. But everybody has to put up a certain amount of money so we can order the pizza. But, boss, I don't want the pizza. Yeah, I know you don't want the pizza, but everybody else wants the pizza. And since everybody else wants the pizza, you kind of have to put the money up for the pizza. The boss, I'm not in the mood for pizza. I don't feel like eating pizza. But smiles, you have to understand, this pizza is healthy. All the ingredients are fresh. They got fresh vegetables, fresh meats. It's healthy. They're low carbs. It's actually, this pizza that we're about to order is actually good for you. Yeah, I get that the pizza may be good for me. I get that the ingredients may be fresher. It may be a healthier choice, but I don't want it. I don't, I'm not in the mood for pizza. I don't want it. But everybody else wants it, and everybody else has put their money up for it. Just put your money up so we can order it. You don't even have to have any. Well, why would I put my money up for something I don't want just because everybody else wants it? Because it's the right thing to do. But I'm not doing it because I don't want pizza, boss. But I know you don't want pizza. I'm saying you have to put your money up for it anyway because everybody else wants it. No, I'm not doing it. No, fuck you then, Smiles. You should have made the right choice. You should have made the healthy choice, but you didn't. Yeah, I don't want the pizza. It may be healthy. I'm not denying that. It may be a good choice, but I shouldn't be forced to buy it because everybody else wants it. If they want it, get it without me. But we can't afford it unless you put your money up too. Well, it sounds like y'all need to eat something else. So anyway, I don't put my money up. They end up getting the pizza anyway. I didn't get any pizza. I didn't put the money up. Then my paycheck comes, and I see that something is taken out of my check. I go to my boss. Hey, boss, look. 
Uh, my check is a little lower than expected. I know I worked 40 hours, but I'm only getting paid for 35 hours. Well, yeah, I had to take five hours off your payroll. Why? Well, we told you we couldn't afford the pizza unless you put your money up. You didn't voluntarily put your money up for the pizza that everybody wanted. So instead, I took it out your check. I took money out of your check as a pizza penalty. And since you didn't pay for it voluntarily, we took it out to check so we can have the pizza. Now, I didn't get a slice of the pizza. I didn't want the pizza. I didn't voluntarily pay for the pizza. So what they did was since everybody wanted the pizza because it's a healthier new type of pizza that they all want to have. And the boss actually got promoted because he told everybody, he said, you know what? If y'all promote me the boss, we'll have this pizza all the time. Yeah, we want that pizza. And they helped. They elected him boss or whatever. Now, everybody has to eat this pizza, but I don't want the pizza. I don't even want a slice of it. But even though I didn't voluntarily pay for it and I didn't want it, I didn't get any, I still get my money taken out for the pizza. All because it's the help. But it smiles is going to the good cause. Because he took these hours out to check, we all enjoyed its pizza now. And it's a healthy pizza. You should have had a slice. But I didn't want it. And now they took my money without my permission. They took my money because... <laughs> they took my money so everybody else can enjoy a pizza that I don't want. Now, please explain to me how that's right on any level. How is taking money out of my check to provide other people with something they want that I didn't want? Just because it makes them feel good and feel better about themselves? Just because they felt like it's the right thing to do and sharing is caring? Somebody try to justify that for me. Now, one step away. Let me clarify this before I get out. I don't have anything against people having health care they can afford. I'm only against forcing me to buy into it. That's all I'm against. Y'all can clear y'all can have y'all y'all can have y'all law. Y'all can buy all the insurance y'all want. Y'all can buy two uh, pr uh, plans. I don't care. But you cannot force me to do it too. That's all I'm saying. Don't don't force it on nobody. That's all I'm requesting. Is there a way this law can say, yeah, everybody has to buy into this thing, but we can't force it? Or will it be like a problem? Like, all right, if you don't force it, nobody's going to do it. Well, if it's so great, if it's so great and wonderful, it shouldn't have to be forced. People should be willing to do it. People should volunteer to do it. But the fact that you have to force somebody to do it means somebody must not want to. More people than you expect may not want to. So if everybody has to be forced to do something so it can work, it's flawed. It's flawed. Nobody like make you know why McDonald's serves millions and billions. Nobody forces them to go to McDonald's. People just want it. They want to go to McDonald's. That's why McDonald's is successful. That's why iPhones is successful. They don't force. They don't say you have to buy an iPhone or you have to buy a Big Mac. It's something that people want, and if people want it, they're gonna get it regardless. You don't have to force anybody to do anything if it really is supposed to be this best thing in the world. If it's the best healthcare plan in the world, you shouldn't have to force anybody. You shouldn't. You should. People should just want it voluntarily. But the fact that you have to mandate and force people to buy into it means something about that law is not right. And I'll let y'all figure that part out. One sip away. Out.